So she got bit in here? Yeah. Well, we're gonna send James in here alone later. What's wrong with him? I don't know, he needs the water. Just got a call from CJ. He's been in there for, I don't know, 30 minutes. Please. That didn't last very long. CJ! Where are you? Oh, God, what happened? Oh, just woke up a little bit ago. Homeowner was really generous. Let us have a late checkout, 1 p.m., which was really nice because we got here at 5 a.m. after a whole night of filming. This is gonna be a great day. We have a 16 hour drive on the road. We're heading towards Texas, meeting up with another special fam. This is Oak Ridge, Tennessee. Went to a pretty epic place last night, Brushy Mountain State Penitentiary, which is about 20 minutes from where we're at right now. But yeah, we have a long drive ahead. I am really excited about something because we're gonna be driving right through it. And it's the only place of its kind. Let's do this. So we're still in Tennessee, not far from Memphis. A little chilly willy. Yeah, I'm a little car sick right now. What about you? Are you car sick? I was tired. Oh, you're fine. I'm gonna take over the driving duties. We have like five more hours to go. We kind of did the math and we figured it'd be a little bit better to split up the driving today and tomorrow since we have like a 16 hour drive to get to Texas. What's that? Looks like a blockbuster. Okay. No, it's books. This is a cold. fancy rest area. Smells pretty good in here. I saw something cool from the outside. Oh, what is this? Is it's it? like a portal. No. Spectrum Tennessee Solar Connection. I ain't never seen anything like this. Bro, look at that. It's like a nuclear reactor or something. Hey, what are you guys doing on your phone? All right. In other words, there might be some bees. Oh. You ever get in the car after your girl's driving? This is going to have to go back more. I got with the wedge. But we're the same height, right? Okay, so it is two o'clock in the morning. We're really tired. Want to get some rest so then we could do the rest of this drive, which is another six hours. However, even though it's a Monday night and we need some rest, all the hotels where we're at right now are like booked on a Monday. I mean, like, look, look at this parking lot. Like, what the heck's going on? I went inside this Hampton and I was like, is there a special event going on? He's like, oh no, we're just like really busy on, on Mondays. I'm like, who, what hotel is busy on Mondays? I guess the one, I, where are we at? We're in Texas right now. But I don't even know where we're at in Texas. I think we're like a hundred miles away from Dallas. Yo, I'm tired. Like I'll sleep in the car if I have to. There's a Motel 6 right there. Motel 6? You can sleep with the cockroaches. He said there's a Holiday Inn up the street. Yeah. Hampton Inns are my favorite. Like this, doesn't matter what Hampton Inns you go to, like they're always very clean, very comfortable. I think I've only gone to one bad Hampton Inn ever. Cause every time we travel, we stay at Hampton Inn. Tiffany's pretty comfortable back there. Yeah, we could sleep in the van. You wanna sleep in the van, babe? I don't care, it's not like we haven't done it before. I know, but. Nah, I want to sleep. I want, I want a bed. And Hampton Inns are like the most comfortable beds. I love their comforters. Say bye. Look like, what the heck's going on here? How about Executive Inn? You want to try that? No, that looks like a prostitute hotel. You've entered here. the parking lot for your destination. Go f yourself, Siri. <laughs> Bruh, what the hell's going on here? Uh, okay. Let's see if they have any. It's almost like the Hampty. Oh, check it out. Man. It's true. <laughs> what we just doing? Want to ring it? Yeah. That's the point of it, though. Do you guys have any of these, I'll take a double queen, please. Yo, you have no idea how excited I am to be in a bed right now. I thought we were going to sleep in the van. Oh, this bed's pretty comfy for being a Holiday Inn Express. Yeah, a little smelly in here. I think they were repainting bathtubs or something according to the receptionist, but it's comfortable. Started developing this weird rash under my eye here. I don't know what that is. Could be stress related. I don't know. But anyways, I'll see you in the morning. That does not look good. There's something wrong with this car too. I think the tires are gonna fall off. Do you think that's cool? It's a bowling car, of course not. Let me know here in the comments if you think that's really cool. Dude, you're gonna have like these 16 year old boys going, oh my god, Omar, what are you talking about? This I is mean, so look at that. Cool. So much of the, the tire is being wasted. It's not yeah. even touching the ground. No, for real. But you know what's cool about that? You okay. can actually um, reverse the tires, and now you have two spare tires, basically. These guys are freaking out right here. Ah, so we're about 15 minutes away from our next location and meeting up with CJ, and we saw this little baby kitten over here and seems like he's 
eating something. He just threw him a chicken nugget. You can get a little closer. Aww. It's a cute little guy. The bee's coming in. No! <laughs> no, it's inside! Ow! No, it's inside! Alright, I think it came out. I think it came out. Tiffany's allergic to bees. Yeah, he came out. You sure it went out? Yeah, yeah. I think you're good. I just seen it. It was flying around your head. Aw, Gene, you did such a good thing for that little kitty. I wonder who he belongs to, or if he's just a stray. Where we're going right now, I have been before. Wasn't there at nighttime. However, the last time I came, it was with James and I feel like he may have gotten possessed. If it wasn't possession, it was definitely something weird because he was disoriented. I mean, it was, wasn't that hot down in the area that he was, but I, I don't know. It was really strange. Oh man, we could have totally stayed across the street. Look, it's a motel. I'm gonna change the Airbnb plans. Let's park off to the side here so we can get some drone shots and not have the cars in the way. Oh, this place is scary. Look at this guy. What is up? Look at this guy. Like two years. <laughs> hey Gene, where you at? Look, well, you're gonna be surprised. Why? I think that cat told his friends. How? Look, look behind you. <laughs> he told his friends. He was like, he's got some chicken. That's the chicken man. Go get him some chicken. I don't have any more chicken. Oh, you don't? No. Got some beef jerky. All right. Here comes the chicken man. Damn. Ah, uh, no. I have a little bit of that. She'll find it. Can they eat ketchup? Yeah. Cool. This should be good then. <laughs> okay, it's a good thing we got our drone up in the air when we did because it got dark like within 15 minutes. I mean, just look how, look how dark it is already. Well, there's Yorktown Memorial Hospital. Yeah, you've never been here, huh? No, it's my first time. What do you think, Tiff? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, her name was Sister Mary Monica. Okay. <laughs> now, if you guys want to talk to Sister Mary Monica tonight by yourselves or together, uh, talk to her in here. You know, a lot of people believe she's still alive. We sighted in a nursing home in Italy. She's dead, man. She's uh, gone. What was, her, what was her name? Sister Mary She'd Monica. She's been in the hundreds. She's mm. still alive. Jeez. Now, if you guys want to talk to her tonight. Uh, ask her questions like, Sister Mary Monica, are you with us here tonight? If so, why are you still here? Yeah. <laughs> why are you not at rest? You don't have to be that dramatic. Right. But if you want to talk to her, talk to her. Yeah. This was the adult ward, okay? okay. Adult That's ward. where the adults hung out, their rooms, emergency room, operating room, okay? This was the nurse's station. What's the craziest thing that happened out there? Oh my gosh. What's the craziest thing that happened down here? Whoa, look, there's like confession booths. Hi, ghosts. Oh. <laughs> right before um, it was a drug rehab facility. A lot of people have captured a shadow photo of him in the hallways. Really? Let me let me show you one. Whoa. Well, I want to see what you're looking at. Well, that's what you just. That's what the hell? Here? Yeah, yeah right down it was there. right there in the, that hallway. Okay. Well, that's not a real person. Sometimes you'll get other people that have died here. Really? Uh, like in new cameras. Now you probably won't see a thing tonight, but you take pictures, picture after picture. You go home. You're gonna take a or whatever, <laughs> and you're gonna see photos. What the hell was that? That was not there when I took the photo. It appears in the camera. I personally have not seen anything, ever, ever. I've been here five years. I've never seen a goddamn thing. But I would take pictures with this piece of Samsung phone, yeah. and I get some incredible photos. Wow, okay? awesome. Make sure you take pictures. Nice. Okay, so okay, yeah. Is that cool? yeah. I didn't really explain well, to CJ that he was going to be here on his own tonight. Yeah, hopefully I'm sorry. Yeah, literally, I get here, I'm like, cool, what's the plan, y'all? We're like grouping up in teams. He's like, no, it's alone. He gave me minimal information. <laughs> okay, so I am all by myself. Setting some stuff up here. Get ready to do an interview with CJ. I have no idea where they are. Okay, they're down the hall that way. So the owners of Yorktown Hospital, they didn't want to do an interview. I think they just, uh, guy told me, he was like, you know, no, nothing against you. I just don't like the way I look on camera. And I, you know, I respect that. I respect that. So this is going to be the first 
of 16 locations. Hopefully it's the last where the owners don't want to do an interview. So I figured since we have a lot of the history down and we did confirm with the owner, we're just gonna have CJ kind of tell the story. Oh gosh, maybe in here? I think this is a good spot. Um, how are you feeling about investigating this location hmm. alone? So this is a loaded question. How am I feeling about being here and investigating alone? I can tell you that right now I'm pretty confident because I have you three behind the cameras right now. But when you all walk out those doors, I really feel like this is going to turn up about 10 notches because it's one thing for people to go in here as a group, but there's not very many people crazy enough to probably enter this building, especially knowing the history of possession, getting touched, getting poked, getting pushed, getting touched. That right there has like my antennas up. I'm, I'm going to be like just... I'm gonna be petrified. I can't even sit here and you know beat my chest and try to be a man about it and be like, oh, I'm not scared. I'm terrified. I seen the casket. Now it's not. I don't see it. Bro, that casket's open. Wait, what? Wait, what? Could you imagine? Bro. <laughs> okay, we'll I be... literally feel so bad for him right now. Like you don't even understand. He wants to do this you though. Think he's gonna go in the basement. You going in the basement? He like didn't even hear me. So we'll listen to CJ. And I heard that there is uh, some rumors about, unfortunately, uh, kids not being born. Wait, is Beerbox said record? I'm recording, yes. Oh, it's it. Whoa. It's like it wants to put a show on for him. Wait, what's wrong with him? I don't know. He needs the water. I don't know. Just got a call from CJ. He's been in there for, I don't know, 30 minutes. Where that didn't it? last very long. Where, oh, that light's off. I must have just turned off. CJ! No. You okay? No, fuck no. What happened? Where are you? Oh, God, what happened? I'm gonna have to wait for the video. Okay, so I am not proud of this, okay? I am not proud of this. Ah. Uh, must have been when I was eating my Gatorade bar. Like, I, I, don't, I don't know. Yeah, it's chocolate. I promise. like texting or something. Look, 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 look. Oh, oh so dude, it's people are going to be blink wrong last minute. I'm going to go on here in case somebody breaks check him. Oh, oh no, he's he... going. What in the world? Damn. Oh, no, 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 please. Oh, oh God, God, please, please save all over the place. God, if you're real, man, you'll f***ing save this dude right now. Should I, I just pass I him? Pass this guy. No, don't do it, okay? Yeah. So we've been taking turns driving. Tiffany took most of the reps this morning, and now she's, you know, she's taking a little nap. Not. What? You were? Like an hour ago. I drove, I don't know, a couple hours. I got really tired because it's super late. We're in Arizona now. We're about three hours away from our destination. It's like a 16 hour drive. Big shout out to Gene. He's taking over right now. A shout out to Red Bull too. Dude, this is <laughs> This is Adderall. Don't drink it unless you're driving on the road. Yeah. It's been good for like a couple minutes. So I just pass him. I think he woke up. Yeah, let's pass him. Oh, thank oh, God. Oh, God. no, he was. Thank God, I waited, bro. Dude. I knew this turn was going to f him up. Dude, he's all over the place. Maybe it's wind. No, because all the other truckers would be doing that, too. What do you think? They're getting close, bro. Yeah. I was going to pass him. If he whips you, we're going to end up in a ditch over there. You're right, you're right. Well, we made it to Wickenburg, Arizona. Not far from Phoenix. Okay, this is the house. Oh, wow, this is nice. 85 degrees? No yes, way. Yes, sir. Tiffany's gonna die. I am extremely car sick. We've been in the car for 16 hours. The original plan was we were gonna drive for 10 hours, take a break, and then drive like the additional, but we had to get here because James and Nina get to the Phoenix airport tomorrow, well, today, around two o'clock. They Their flight gets in at the same time. I'm gonna get them an Uber because I do not want to drive an hour. I want to sleep in. We're really... uh. Yeah, we really need some sleep. I wonder if there's any rattlesnakes out here. I just heard a coyote. I'm gonna get some shut eye and I'm gonna show you what this looks like during the day. 
Let's see what all the hype is all about here. You ever get somewhere new in the middle of the night and you have no idea what it looks like? You wake up in the morning and you're like, what the heck, dude? Like, how did I miss this in the middle of the night? Like, my freaking neighbors have rocks for lawns. This is so cool. We are definitely in the desert. I was reading the Airbnb listing and supposedly you could bring horses here. They have horse stable. Oh, there's horses. There's freaking horses. Whoa. Can we pet them? Can we pet them? Can we pet them? They have like a whole horse barn for you if you came here. So today's gonna be nothing short of exciting. I'm gonna pick up my friend James. I'm gonna pick up the producer, Nina. We have quite the adventure this evening. Uh, one thing I was telling Tiffany is it's really hard going to some of these super cool haunted locations that, by the way, I am paying for for the night. But me myself am not filming like a video for myself. I mean, I guess I'm filming a video for my channel, but like I'm not in it. I am in the vlog, but like you get what I'm saying. I'm not doing like a ghost hunt by myself. The place we're going tonight, whew, you're not going to want to miss this. I can't wait to share it with you. It is amazing. I've never been here, but like the research I've done, there's some evil here. In fact, the owner was walking around and got bit. I've only heard that at maybe one other place at the Monroe house in Indiana. Was telling me he had a friend that was in here ghost hunting a week ago and she got bit. Some people attribute scratches, pushing with evil. Not me necessarily because I feel like spirits sometimes may want to get your attention and that's the only way they're able to. Biting on the other hand, that's evil, 100%. Except for when, you know, I bite. Cause you know, I do it with little man. A little... Anyways, we're gonna get to Phoenix, pick up James, pick up Nina, maybe have a, a meal. Man, it is beautiful out here. I can't wait to do some drone shots later. Like, look at the mountains. Arizona is gorgeous. Wanna know the best part? We blend right in. We got an Arizona plate on our rental. They came from Florida, by the way. Yo, check out the houses in Arizona. They're so cool looking. Like they just, I don't, they're just desert houses. Okay, now our houses in Florida look very similar to that. Like we have the Spanish tile roofs. Like those are Florida houses, very tropical. But then when you get into some of these, like I don't even know what that style is called. Like they just, to me, it just, looks like the desert like this looks like an old house when you walk in ah! oh it probably scared the f out of me what the f <laughs> that was good <laughs> yo i really needed the three hour time change here what about you yeah for real is this i felt like i slept like a long time for the oh. first time gosh we had like barely any sleep on this trip and like last night was great what if there's any lizards here there's got to be lizards yeah we should have brought our horses <laughs> oh wow they got electric fences oh look they're friendly hi don't get too close don't get too close hi oh he's he's head nodding to us hi buddy how you doing you want an apple home with me boy oh my god come here <laughs> oh you pet him they're so friendly it's big he's a big boy dude look there's a lot of them that one's beautiful over there oh my I god you never pet a horse before i have but i just you know, you don't get used to it. They're such beautiful creatures. Whoa, what the hell? Ew! What's going on? Turn that off! Turn that off! Oh my god! <laughs> yes, oh my sir. god! Nina's looking up horse songs on YouTube. There's gotta be a song that they like. They got ears. They like music. Yeah, I feel bad for these guys. It's hot out here. This is calming and relaxation for horses, not the song. This is not. I don't think he cares about your horse music getting a little worried just heard from nina she landed have not heard anything back from james he has not messaged me he hasn't called me and his initial flight into vegas yesterday or the day before yesterday he missed and he had to get another flight i hope to god Dude, he's a heavy sleeper. He slept through all of his alarms yesterday. That's how he missed the flight. Oh he slept God. through like three alarms and he missed his first flight. If he misses this flight, like this is bad. Like I paid over a thousand dollars for this location for him to film at tonight. And I mean, I have Nina flying in. I mean, that costs money. Like, well, I, I don't know. Like, can you call him? He literally just texted you. No. Literally right he just, now. He it just says, did. Just now. It says just arrived. Uh, nice. <laughs> good it literally just came through. So, I mean, he was supposed, maybe his plane was delayed because he was supposed to be here maybe like 15, 20 minutes ago. Thank you, James. Thank you. And can we just address the fact that we're low on gas? 
Again. Again, 38 <laughs> miles to go. It's hot as balls outside. It's 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so I just turned our air conditioning off to save on some gas because we're probably gonna run out. You see Nina anywhere? No. She said terminal three by, oh, there she is right there. I see okay. her. Nina! Hey, Nina! Hey. We missed you! So uh, we were getting yelled at for being right here. We really did run Thank out of you. gas. I mean, kind of ran out of gas. So we're waiting for James. If we circle around here and come back, we are for sure gonna run out of gas. Nearest gas station is what, three miles from here? I told her we ran out of gas. They're bringing us gas for $5, like $5 worth of gas, which should be plenty, just in case. Fingers crossed. But it also buys us some extra time to be here because we don't know where James is at. I tried to call him. He doesn't have cell phone service. Can you try to call James, like again? Because he tried to call me and, oh, you are? Tell him we're in Terminal 3. Yeah, so we thought for sure they were gonna tell us to get lost. I'm like, I ran out of gas. <laughs> yeah, we ran out of gas. Oh, he's out here. Oh, he's outside? Yes. You know, let's just, let's just go. I mean, they were gonna bring us some gas. Look, I'm not clickbaiting. Like, we really, like, it says low range. I mean, I didn't technically run out of gas, but like, damn, I almost feel like we should probably get, it's like $5 worth of gas, she said, that they'd give us. I mean, we gotta pay for it, but. Okay, we got our gas. We're good to go. Yeah, all right, thank you. Just kidding. I hope we don't run out of gas. Yo, Phoenix Airport is a madhouse. I remember it being really crazy when I flew out of here before. Like, it's it's insane. There he is. Where? Right there, Miami Head. James! Oh, yeah! He's right there. Jamesy boy! He does James! It. What up, bro? Yo! You guys need a ride? Chandler car driver. No, okay. we're just picking up our friend. <laughs> All right, we need to go. Get gas. Okay. Uh, oh. What? Oh. Come on, don't play. Come on, <laughs> guys, let's go. Dude, gas is so gas expensive here. Oh what my the gosh. Hell? Oh, I just ran out of gas. Uh, oh god, we're gonna have to get out and push. Which ones are the soft? Which ones taste better? Who? Okay, I'll do that then. I'll do a large, yes please. This place is so nice. I don't know what it's called, but it's in Phoenix. And we just had some really good food at um, Genghis Grill. Reminds me of LA. You know it's hot somewhere when they got these things shooting out a mist of water on you. Crew members came out, like the freaking production company. Like in this room in here, like one of the dolls literally jumped up and planted its face into the window. This room particularly, they did a lot of entertaining in here back in the day, right? Mm -hmm. So this was like the VIP lounge. This is Mexican Rita's um, spot back here. We made it. Yes. We are so late. Lid. Yeah, I'm coming. Yeah. Where did your wife get bit? Uh, in the assay building. Okay, the, that's the other. So okay. the door slam happened inside of this room. You get singing in here, the smell of perfume, you get, um, you get talking, uh, loud bangs on this back door back here. Uh, well, we're gonna send James in here alone later. So this is a brothel. It does not feel like a brothel. That was all the way at the roost. Well, that's a brothel. He'll be able to go okay, in so there? Okay, so just, yeah, that's the doctor's okay. office. So the doctor's, basically, like, James, did you hear what Jay said about how he watched things? Yeah. So he was said to, like, father a lot of these kids, too, right? Oh, so God, what the hell? His laugh. Dude, this thing moved like that. And I didn't even come near it. Uh, yeah, maybe I'm just tripping. This is the hanging tree. This so is we where have, a lot of hangings happen. And that's Henry Wickenberg's house, his original house right behind it. That's the founder, right, He's that we talked about, guys. Yes. Omar. And that was 18 people were hung there? Documented, I think there was 18, but like suspected many more. But many more. for the historians and whatnot, they need a birth certificate and a death certificate to prove death on tree. And most of us just need like a note saying they were dead. This is also going back before Arizona was a state. So there could be more. This is your last, should be your last stop. This yeah. Is, this is yeah, last this stop is like here. the money. This is where she was bit. I believe we have, uh, we have a couple suspected suicides. There's talk of it, but there's not a lot of documentation. Uh, a dude hanging himself in here. Um, this is the assay building. So this is where they process all the gold. Up here, guys, so this is where the shotgun security guy is, would have stayed. So obviously if you got in this far, then some of these walls are like between three and four foot deep in some places. So if you actually got through here, you'd have already been shot. There is some 
robberies that did happen. Um, so this is where they store all the gold. That's where they store the gold. Oh, okay. So, so you go down there often? Uh, I, I don't ever go down there. Yeah. This over here, this is yeah. where a lot of the activity has been happening at inside oh, of this particular feet. space. Yeah. Um, do you think anyone ever... Like, so she got bitten here? Yeah. 